one thing you might wonder is why don't we keep the grip constant? This comes from the fact that a lot of times you're distracted, like you're playing the music, you know, you're going like, and you, you have to think, what's the next phrase? Is it going to be this? Or is it going to be? Or is it going to be? And in the, that process, you start to forget that you have to keep this tight for the execution of the note. That's one thing that you have to keep in mind. So you need to practice. When you're practicing, to pay attention to the right hand and to keep constant your pressure. That's one thing, by the way, that makes the pick move in your hand a lot of times. The other thing is muscle fatigue. So you have to practice to keep tight so that your muscles become strong and trained. And um, in that sense, it will become much easier. I have a lot of picks here that over the time, you know, that I've designed, such as this. This one has screws on it. Um, the other has like a pad. Uh, the next one has grooves. It even has a little piece of plastic thing sticking out. And that one has a groove. Now, what are all these things for? They're in, in place to help you with the grip. And that proved to be unnecessary once I figured out that uh, all you have to do is actually grab this tighter, but that's easy understood. The concept is easy to understand. What is more subtle is to make yourself keep the grip constantly tight enough during the playing, during the entire playing of the phrase. And when you stop, you know, and you think about your next phrase to play, that you don't forget that next time you're going to have to, if the phrase is this, the upcoming phrase, if it's something like, you, you have to go, you see, everything has to be deliberately very controlled here, and you have to remember that it's not just a matter of articulating with your left hand, uh, but also keeping the grip constant here so that the accents and the tightness of the lick comes through with the necessary clarity. And that's by making a clear um, sound at the given speed. Think very much as if you were a drummer and you're practicing strokes, everything has to be very clear, all the strokes evident, so that um, uh, it becomes more comprehensible to apply this on the guitar. You know, a run is not just uh, things like that, which are left hand um, generated, but when you start picking, it has to have the clarity that you might generate this way. To cultivate this, you can do a basic exercise. For example, what's on my DVD is a lick like this. That one it's easy to just start letting go when you increase the speed, so you have to practice it like... Now right here, you see the little mistake? That means it's, it was a grip thing. Okay, so let's do it again. See, now it came out clear. The difference was just that the first time I, I loosened up on that particular note, and you have that little hesitation. Let's try this again. Uh, notice that that one was with that particular hesitation because it loosened the grip. So let's try it again. You see how they jump at you. That's how it should be. You can separate in groups of strings, such as... for the top three or the top two.
right there. So you, you can um, adapt this to the way you play. Your exercises should be derived for maximum efficiency from your own playing licks. That's how I always develop mine, is from my own um, vocabulary. So you find out what the vocabulary is, what you're trying to play, and you break it down into sub-elements. For example, in this, this whole lick is... You know, and you can even go... And then you can make it pentaton and make it blues. So all that is something that you derive yourself from your own intentions that you want to do when playing. I hope that this um, helps to clarify something and it helps you with uh, um, keeping your, um, you know, you're developing your chops so that um, there is no surprises. A lot of times the missed note or the, the pick getting stuck is actually due to uh, right hand uh, glitch, so to speak. So the glitch is what this little uh, pr um, exercise today and little uh, practice session helped us to get through is um, very specific technique, keep the squeeze constant throughout all the way to the end of the run and don't forget to do that when you're playing. Make it part of the expression of the music. Don't just focus on the right, on the uh, left hand, but just make it part of the entire passage that the pick and the right hand are just equally as important. So, and you can find the details on um, Maximum Speed Picking with Name Mello, which you can get at uh, Amazon.com, you can get at abstractlogics.com. If you know me, if you live in the Washington DC area in the United States, you can, uh, or New York, you know, you can get personally from me as well. And uh, I hope you have a blast, you know, practicing, you know, practicing is fantastic if uh, you know how to practice effectively. You know, it doesn't have to be a drudgery at all. You know, it's always, a, for me, it's always a pleasure. I come in sometimes um, stressed out, you know, and you pick the guitar and it's like instant medicine for everybody. All right. Okay, so I'll see you guys soon, maybe in an upcoming episode of the GP series of instructional mini lessons.